legend sunrise meets my skin Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in Golden, golden. I'll follow only golden in spring rainbow trout and hummingbird wing golden hey everyone good morning today i have a busy day i got up before all the kids but maverick's actually up he's on the couch watching tv eating some breakfast um he's supposed to be sitting at the table but he's so cute so he's sitting at the table at the couch today is busy because i have two doctor's appointments today so i have my OBGYN appointment in the morning which is soon and um the kids are not coming and then i also have uh, a doctor's appointment at a new doctor um it's a long story but just so i can get my allergy shots there instead and so i'm going there uh later on and so it works out perfectly like i have my stepdad watching the kids this morning because he's just right down the road he can walk down here it's not gonna be a long appointment and then i after zach gets off of work i then have my appointment with my family doctor to get my allergy shot and then after that savannah has her very first soccer practice i am so excited we've been practicing like crazy i'm excited to find out her soccer schedule when games and practices will be uh what color team she is when pictures are who's on her team her teammates maybe some fellow classmates friends like i'm just really excited for her and then all the stuff in between today uh yeah navy is up so i need to go get her i gotta leave here in 30 minutes um so i need to get dressed I'm not putting on makeup yet. Uh, I'm just gonna put something over this zit and maybe another zit and that's it because it's so early in the morning and I have a long day ahead of me. I did do my hair because it'll kind of soften out throughout the day and then it's good to go for two days. You know, I don't have to do anything to it. Curling is just easier for me, especially with how hot it is. It'll be easier. Um, I have been extremely nauseous the last like day, two days. Uh, every time I cough, I think I'm going to throw up. I really don't want to throw up this morning. And I still have to go to the bathroom in a cup, TMI. I uh, didn't bring the thing upstairs with me to go because you have to do that for every appointment. And so I got to do that before I go. However, I'm trying out new biker shorts. They are maternity because my other ones were just like cutting in and they made me feel really sick. But the only thing so far, I don't know. I gotta wear them a little bit more. I think they're a little short. Um, I like mine a little bit longer. I'll have to show you guys. Um, here, I have you on the weird tripod, so. See, they're a little bit shorter than what I normally wear. We're gonna give them a try today. We're gonna see how I like them. See, my normal shorts are like here. And I like them and I feel comfortable in the other ones because like, I'm just self-conscious about my legs, you know? I don't know if they're gonna ride up as I walk, you know? I don't know, I guess I'm gonna have to find out and see. It has been really hard for me to find maternity biker shorts. I've read so many reviews on Amazon and I decided to just go ahead and get these. And I don't know, like everyone said they were good. I just, I'm not a fan of the length. I wish they were like two inches longer. That's just me. Okay, I need to go upstairs, get a shirt. I'm just gonna wear a t-shirt. Get a shirt, get Navy up. Savannah's still sleeping, which is fine. She can, um, yeah. Hi, buddy. covered the zit just a little bit more um later i'll do like eyebrows and maybe light eyeliner or something like way later in the day after lunch my navy's napping uh she's up savannah's still sleeping 
Maverick's still sitting there. Um, this is what I decided to wear as a mom life shirt because I just want to be comfy. And then I'm going to wear tennis shoes too so I can be extra comfy. There's just snow. Maybe I don't want to wear tennis shoes. I'll wear tennis shoes later. Yeah, I'll just throw those over there. <laughs> Do that later. So I'm going to the bathroom yet. I need to go. Because um, like I went this morning and then I went again and I forgot. So I'm waiting right now. But Navy's eating her breakfast. Is that good? Is that good? Yeah. Sorry, I'm gonna be chewing gum while I'm talking because I'm just super nauseous this morning. Oh my Atlanta. Uh, so my appointment went good. My next appointment is like the big ultrasound and stuff and I had to make that like literally right when they first open uh, because that's like the only time that's available and so that day Zach's gonna have his hands full. He's gonna be having to because it's like really early the appointment and like way before the kids go to school get on the bus so he's gonna have to get them ready get Samantha on the bus take Maverick and Navy take Maverick to drop off at school and then yeah so he, and then we're gonna have to switch vehicles so that's gonna be fun for him he can do it it's just gonna be exhausting um and yeah then he'll have to like bring Navy in the van to me and then you know because I'll drive his truck and then switch off so then I have Navy in the van because I have to have the van in order to pick up Maverick you know when he gets out of school that day <sighs> yeah it's just, it's fun, like, that's the most stressful part is, like, literally trying to schedule my appointments around everybody else's schedules, and it's very stressful because I can't bring the kids with me to this appointment. Like, I can't bring uh, Navy or Maverick, well, Maverick has school, but I can't bring Navy with me because it's an ultrasound, and it's like, I don't want her running around getting into everything while I'm getting an ultrasound, and you know what I mean? Like, it's just not a feasible situation, and so, um, that's why I'm glad that I could make it, like, the first appointment right when they open in the mornings, and I'm excited. It's gonna be good seeing all of his features, seeing everything, making sure everything is good, and I talked to her about a couple of my concerns that I'm having with me, and I just need to drink more water and relax more when I can which you guys know me it's very hard for me to do that because I'm high strung and I have three kids like I'm busy so you know I am you know gotta keep the house going I'm gonna get more busy when school starts here soon so it's just gonna be a lot more on my plate and such which is fine it's part of life but the more pregnancies you have, you know, the harder it is on your body, especially the older you get. And my body's just been through it the last seven years. Being pregnant every single year since 2016. It's in the weight loss journey, breastfeeding, and yeah, it's a lot. Well, I have now been home for a while. I'm getting some work done. Uh, I don't know if I, I can't remember what I said because it was just like, I'm still processing, I guess, the information. Uh, so <clears throat> let me just go and say, there is nothing wrong, just a concern that I had because it's so hard without being TMI with us. Uh, but you know, like as a woman in pregnancy, you know, you have, stuff and whatnot and uh so i was concerned like if i was having too much stuff and she's like no you know um mate let's just check you out and baby's heart and everything was good he was good and so then she's like well let's go ahead and see if you have that and i didn't have that and she's like well you know let's make sure that you are drinking a lot of water and you're resting when you can because she checked my cervix and everything's good it's fine and then I just she's like maybe it's coming 
from your like mucus plug or something like that and i mean it doesn't have like a like a blood color to it or like a, a tint of color at all to it but you know it's just something you have to keep an eye on and such so i just have to drink a lot of water relax when i can i'm not gonna be picking up anything heavy like not that i'm picking up stuff that's heavy but like sometimes i'll pick up savannah or maverick or you know sometimes i i guess i do carry some things that are heavy but i try not to but it's so hard because you know i just i know that i'm like perfectly capable of it but i i guess i i need i know better that i shouldn't be doing that and it's just really hard and i just yeah i'm gonna try to be taking it easy uh sitting when i can not standing a lot sometimes i stand a lot when i work i like to stand but i'm sitting now um and you know i'm just gonna listen to my body and such um i need to re-ask about the peloton um the nurse said you know you know your body well enough you know your body will just kind of tell you when you're done working out and when you know it's too much and i really don't do that much and i love being on it and i ride it two to three times a week for 20 minutes and sometimes 15 if i'm really really tired and i like it because it keeps me active and it's not too crazy so i guess i'm just gonna have to go a little bit lighter maybe only do tens um because i do want to stay active i don't want to get out of it i love my bike like i don't want to stop riding it and i really enjoy it it's just really hard it just it's hard because you got to do what's best for you and then you want to stay healthy for the baby and yeah that's what's most important and so yeah i'm just going to be relaxing <laughs> the best i can with three kids and a crazy busy schedule. All right, Zach is home and I relaxed for a couple hours. I just feel really nauseous, but Whatever. Um, I'm going to go to my other doctor's appointment now and get my allergy shot. And then I'll... Oh my gosh, Taylor. And then, and then I will come home. <laughs> then I'll come home and take Savannah to soccer practice. Alright, well I got back from my appointment ate dinner I'm getting some ice in my water um, oh no there's no ice it just got refilled I gotta take Savannah to her first soccer practice I'm excited I was worried it was gonna rain uh, it's windy it's a little chilly so I'm wearing a sweatshirt oh my gosh this is like no ice look at that nothing that stinks but we are excited for her first practice, so I'm going to go take her. It's going to be a good, fun time. I'm so excited for her. I wake up from the sunshine on my face So dehydrated, don't know what to say Who's sleeping by my side? What did I do last night? Can someone make this headache go away? Yesterday was supposed to be quiet Being to myself and sit in silence Until I got a call My friend showed up at my door They wanted me to go out for a while Okay, so we got back from Savannah's soccer practice. Uh, we talked to Zach. Savannah told Zach all about it. And I'm glad it was just me that went because it was sprinkling on and off. Kids would have just been kind of like eh about it. And it was good because then I could just like really focus on Savannah. And then Zach also got to have his time with the other two. I This looks more red than it is. but And so we came home. We did all three kids, bath, shower and navy's in bed and then i just took my shower did my skincare i'm not gonna relax zach and i are gonna relax we are going to watch a show together and have some dip and chips not healthy at all but it just sounds delicious i always have 
that's one thing that I do do in pregnancy is I have a night snack because before I got pregnant like I cut all snacks out like I didn't eat past like six o'clock at night and now I have a snack at night because I get so nauseous before bed and it's the only way that I can really fall asleep like I took medication when I ate dinner but it's just it kind of wears off by then and I have really bad indigestion so I have to take my other one and it's just a roller coaster, I swear. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Sorry if it is all over the place. I'm sorry if I confused you or worried you about the pregnancy or anything like that. Everything's going good. I really just need to drink more water, take it a little bit slower. I don't need to go so fast paced all the time. I just need to drink some water, rest and relax when I can. I don't have to do all the things all the time. It's just really hard when you're a stay at home mom and you have three kids and you know your husband works so hard and so you want to work hard because that's just what you want to do and so it's just really hard but I appreciate all of your guys' support those crazies and thank you all so much I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one bye we were dancing in the dark with a feeling